my name is Michael Havranek, and I'm, I guess, the co-owner, chief uh, medical illustrator here, production manager. We're a lot of different names. <laughs> company name is Amicus Visual Solutions, and we do medical legal illustration. Um, so it entails, basically, attorneys will contact us to get graphics created that help them in their trials, and they all usually send us the records for the case, they'll send us their operative notes and all the radiology and all the different records, medical records for that case. And then they ask us to prepare some um, ideas of visuals that would help communicate their case to the layperson audience. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I guess there are two roles that we play. One is as a communicator, we're trying to communicate sort of complex medical concepts to the layperson audience. And then we're also trying to help whoever hires us win their side of the case. So we'll do both the plaintiff side and the defense. We're predominantly plaintiff. Sometimes, rarely, they'll hire us to be with them at the mediation where we can run like a PowerPoint show. So instead of showing them the graphics, they might have a screen. Mm -hmm. um, and that was kind of popular for like the last 10 years, but now people are just sick of um, screens and videos. So we don't do many mediations anymore. We have done some mediations over Zoom now, which is interesting because mm -hmm. that's a whole new yeah. realm that we haven't done in the past. Um, and we've done some trials where the medical experts or, or people who are testifying are actually in the courtroom via video link. Um, so if it does go to trial, then the local attorneys, and it's more now a modern thing than it was five years ago, but they'll hire somebody to kind of sit in the courtroom with them and put on the presentation and like mm -hmm. bring up the slides that they need and also give them feedback. So that's another, we're not just people who are presenting the visual side of it. We're also giving like, like I mentioned before, feedback that if they have a question about what the doctor meant when he said something, we can help them to understand it. But sometimes also as the attorney's putting on his case, the, we're, we're sitting there and we're watching the, the jury's response. Are they are they nodding off? Are they falling asleep? Or you know, are they excited? Do they are they nodding their head like in agreement with the attorney? Yeah. We can give the attorney feedback on that at, at the end of the day. In high school, the teacher said I had a, a knack for art or a talent for art. Yeah. And and back then I didn't have a lot of money, so like my parents couldn't afford to buy me all the brand name sneakers and stuff. So I would get like generic sneakers, but I would draw on them like Adidas and Nike and all these things and like make my own clothes. It was just, was art cool. was a, a way of like, I guess fitting in mm -hmm. sort of. And then so I ended up going to Northern Illinois University, which is not like one of the top schools in Illinois. I really couldn't go out of state because of money, but um, they had a good art program and they had all the sciences there. Mm -hmm. So I went there kind of as a double major. I still was kind of torn. I, my parents told me that if I, they didn't want me to, and this is the same story that a lot of medical illustrators will say, is that their parents were like, don't do art, you're never gonna make money, you're gonna be a poor art star. <laughs> so they're pushing me into the sciences, so basically an art major. But I have a minor in uh, physics, psychology, philosophy, and biology. Wow. And you need the biology in order to go to graduate school for the medical art. The others were just because I had a love for science. Mm -hmm. And I got into graduate school in the Chicago program, University of Illinois at Chicago. And it's a two and a half year program and went through that and got my master's in medical illustration. And my last semester there is when I did the internship. That's when I found out about medical legal illustration. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lady here from the West End who came to talk to our school about the field and got me all interested in it because that was sort of my final answer to how I can make money doing yeah. illustration. And um, she didn't offer um, internships, but I told her like she should do an internship and I would love to do it and I would do it for free. Just let me come down and you yeah. know, like hang out at your place. So um, they arranged for me to come down to Richmond and hang out at their place. And I helped out as much as I could. I helped out with illustration work and then they felt bad that they weren't paying me for stuff. So they started paying me and I started taking on more work and I was basically like working part-time for them. Mm -hmm. Five years later, split off and started. People, when I was getting educated, people were learning how to draw anatomy, how to draw a heart, how to draw lungs and stuff. 
nowadays, everybody, like where the demand is in medical illustration that I see more commercially is molecular stuff. It's about new drugs that are coming out. It's about the COVID mm -hmm. virus and it's attachment spikes and the, the different antigens. And yeah. So you're, you're not illustrating like the traditional squishy heart anymore. You're just illustrating molecules and their bonds together. So it becomes more like almost like just design and you're just putting balls together. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like, you know, you kind of look in the older ages of medical illustrators and they're doing like all these beautiful illustrations body parts and then you look at what people are doing today and it's all just there's like balls and sticks and they're just <laughs> yeah. trying to like make them spin around and show how they connect to each other but so we have a huge archive library of all the images and all the exhibits we've done in the past which helps give us a competitive edge on that it's, it's really difficult these days to compete with all the other illustrators that are out there and all the other companies and just the demand of it. Like one thing that's really changed our business too is this whole, what I call like the Amazon.com era, where attorneys now think they can call us up on Wednesday and say they need an exhibit and they want it delivered by Thursday. Mm -hmm. You know, that like yeah. one day turnaround, it's on the doorstep the next day kind of thing, um, which is ridiculous. And I think people think that computers, I've heard attorneys say, well, can't you just press a few buttons and a heart comes out of your computer kind of thing. But they don't realize that we still have to draw all these things. We still have to put it together. Um, we have to design it. So that's what the illustrators then do. They sit down, they figure out how they're, how they're gonna draw everything. They'll usually do some sketches, plan it out. They have to read all the records and the output notes to make sure that everything matches what the records are saying. Then they'll use our archives to pull images that are already created that saves a whole bunch of time. And then they will illustrate everything that needs to be customized and do the layout. And then we'll send a draft to um, they turn in the doctor to review, and then we'll make edits, and once everybody's happy with it, we send the final product. We either print it or send a digital copy to the attorney. And seeing our illustrations make a difference in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, a lot of times when illustrators like illustrate for like a magazine or something, they're doing beautiful illustrations, but you're not really like changing somebody's life. Right. So I guess that's one moment where sometimes you just feel, especially if they win the case, that you've now made a difference in somebody's life. You've you can see how you can make like a, a world of difference just as a medical illustrator. A lot of these illustrations, when I was in undergrad, we had like almost this whole semester to do an illustration and to turn it in, and there would be critiques along the way. Then when I got into graduate school, we had maybe like a month to do an illustration to get it done and turn it in. When I got out into the real world and had to work um, at my first job, we had about two weeks to do an illustration. And here it's not uncommon that we have like two days and maybe even like two hours to just knock something yeah. out. So that's more common now is like a day. We usually try to do one of these exhibits in a day and maybe the more complex yeah. one in two days. Oh, um, that's quite, that's surgery. really fast. Yeah. Um, and that's sort of the pace that we have to go at just to meet the demand of, of all the deadlines, but also to be able to make money, enough money to pay everybody. Yeah, I mean, I would say if you go into it, think about where you want to go with it, I think. I think a lot of people maybe go into graduate school wanting to be medical illustrators, but they never figure out like how to succeed at being a medical illustrator. So I think for every like 20% of people that are successful medical illustrators, probably 80% of people who are struggling. And I always mm -hmm. see this at the, the AMI meetings that we go to, everybody's always like, how do we generate more business? Where do you find your business? How do you do? And part of it is that a lot of people are sort of reactive instead of proactive right. so i think the more successful people are out there creating a niche for themselves or a style a certain style that people are going to want them to do and the other people are just kind of waiting by the phone for somebody to call them for, with a job um so i'd say be proactive and figure out kind of what you want to do in medical illustration there are a lot of paths you can go down that are going to mm -hmm. be rewarding but i think the more rewarding ones are also going to require a lot more work and they're going to be more stressful and 